Hello everyone, I am Anushka Suni and today I am going to present on the topic Biometric Model of Fingerprint. These are the topic which we are going to study in this video. So let's start with the introduction. So what is Biometric System? Biometric system captures the salient features from our fingerprint and then creates a biometric template. These templates are then stored in a data set that allows the system to select fingerprint to perform either individual comparison or searches through the appropriate databases. It depends upon the case. The next point is types of sensor used in biometric system. So the first one is optical sensor. Basically optical sensor work by focusing light on your fingerprint to create a digital image. You can see in this picture the light rays are falling over the ridges and then reflected back to a lens which capture this light and creates a digital image. The next sensor is capacitive scanner. Capacitive scanner uses the ridges of your fingerprint which are put over a conductive plate then the scanner modifies the charge stored in the capacitor while the valley remain intact. Then these variations are tracked by a circuit which is subsequently collected by an analog to a digital converter and then it is evaluated. The next sensor is ultrasonic sensors. Nowadays ultrasonic sensors are being used a lot in our smartphone security system. Ultrasonic sensor calculates the distance to your fingerprint via ultrasonic sound waves. Once the sound waves have been measured, the fingerprint's image is created. Unlike capacitive scanner, the quality of output by ultrasonic sensor is not affected by the unclean fingers. The fourth and the last sensor is thermal line sensor. Thermal line sensor uses temperature alteration in the fingerprint ridges and valleys to produce a fingerprint pattern output. These sensors are very small and uh, are arranged in an array and the fingerprint is made to rotate over it. So the next topic is process. So the process of biometric system includes various steps. The first one and the very important step is enrollment process. So this process is by which a user's biometric data is initially acquired, assessed, processed and then stored in the form of a template for ongoing use in a biometric system. Subsequent verification and identification attempts are conducted against the template created during this enrollment process. Although the way a user enroll may vary substantially from system to system, quality enrollment is a critical factor in the long term accuracy of biometric system. Low quality enrollments may lead to high error rate including false match rate and false non-match rate. So the next step is feature extraction. Feature extraction take place during enrollment and verification both the time. Basically any time a template is created. So feature extraction is an automated process of locating and encoding the salient features from the biometric data in order to generate a template. The feature extraction process includes filtering and optimization of image and data in order to accurately locate the features. So the next step is template. So the template is a defining element of biometric technology and system and it is very critical to understand that how biometric operates. Basically a template is a small file derived from the distinct features of a user's biometric data. Template are used to perform biometric matches. Now it is a very important point 
that biometric systems store and compare biometric templates not biometric data next step is biometric matching so to understand biometric matching first you have to understand scoring so scoring is like biometric match or non match decisions are based on a score a score like a number that indicates the degree of similarity and dissimilarity between the enrollment template and the verification template biometric system utilize the algorithm to process templates and generate scores so now biometric matching biometric matching like uh, the comparison of biometric template to determine the degree of similarity or dissimilarity is called matching the process of matching biometric template result in a score which we have already studied so basically like if the score exceed the threshold then the result is a match and if the score is below the threshold then the result is a non match okay now the next point is advantages of fingerprint scanning so as we all know that fingerprints are very unique this uniqueness is a very important advantage that fingerprints are unique identifiers specified to the individual the next point is that most people are familiar with this authentic method this is a very authentic method and most of the people are aware with it and the third point is there is no need to remember complex password and these fingerprint scanners are very cheap and can be easily brought the next point is disadvantages of fingerprint scanning so injuries temporary or permanent can interfere with scans the second point is it is a technology that can be bypassed with methods that copy and replicate fingerprints it is hard to copy one's fingerprint but it is not impossible the last point is it can be bypassed by using someone else fingerprint while they are asleep or unconscious okay so i hope you all understood this topic and thank you for listening